and today's recipe is brought to you by the Sunset Edible Garden Cookbook. Zucchini cookies. It says makes five dozen. I'm only going to make a half a batch. I don't need that many cookies. And here's what they look like in the picture. So let's get to baking. As you can see, I've got my mixer out. I've got my recipe right back there where I can see it. Got all my ingredients lined up. We're going to start out with a stick of butter. Okay, you got to love some butter. And then we have three quarters cup sugar, one large egg with a half a teaspoon of vanilla in it, a cup of grated zucchini cup and a half of flour mixed with a teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half teaspoon of salt. And then we have a half cup each of chopped pecans and miniature chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips. All right, let's go. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to cream this here butter see if my machine will not make a whole bunch of noise this time. There we go. Preheat our oven to 350. I didn't do that part yet. Let's do that right now. Alright, 350. together butter and sugar so I guess I better add the sugar in there huh otherwise there's no togetherness until light and fluffy come on get light and fluffy for me up a little bit. There we go. That ought to get light and fluffy. That looks light and fluffy to me. Beat in eggs and vanilla. Actually it's egg because I'm tapping it. Alright, so egg and vanilla. Fresh chicken eggs from one of my beautiful girls. smell when you when you cream butter and sugar together. It's such a lovely smell. And my egg was at room temperature. Stir in zucchini. So we're going to take it off the mixer. That's why it was probably whistling like that. I need to adjust this to down or up a little bit. This is one of those special paddles that has the rubber on the edge. See? got a scraper. I'll put the link to that down in the description. It really makes a difference with the the consistency of whatever you're, you're beating. I don't know why. 
I don't know why it makes such a big difference, but it really does to have it scraping the bowl the whole time. It was well worth it. However much it was, I don't even remember off the top of my head. But I use it all the time. And it was well worth it. It's made a big difference, especially with cakes. You can tell the difference with the the results you get. I ought to just bang this in the bowl, but I wanted to save your ears. I hope these are yummy, because this will help me use up a bunch of that zucchini I've been growing. Definitely flush on zucchini. Alright, let's move this machine out of the way. And we will stir in our zucchini. Make sure you're still under the camera. There we go. just pretty much one medium zucchini that I grated with my food processor. Easy peasy. Alright, let's get a wooden spoon on this. I see wooden spoon happening all over the place right here. wooden spoon. Yep, that works a lot better than that spatula, doesn't it? Actually, that's a rubber scraper. A spatula is what you turn pancakes and eggs with. I know, I grew up calling it a spatula too, but it's a rubber scraper. But according to the eggheads, Ooh, that smells so good. All right, now we're whisking our flour together with our with our baking powder, cinnamon, and salt. And we're whisking and we're whisking. And guess what? goes in the bowl. Bet you saw that coming, didn't you? Alright. Mixing and mixing. Here comes our cookie dough. Now this recipe was sent in to Sunset by a man named Jacob Gross of Lompoc, California. And in the description, it says you can't taste the zucchini in these cookies, but it adds a nice, moist texture. All right, we'll see about that. All right, so there is almost our cookie dough. That still seems a little wet to me. I bet if I let it stand a couple minutes it'll it'll the flour in there will grab the moisture and then it won't be so wet. Alright, in go our chopped pecans and miniature. I used miniature, it didn't say miniature, but miniature chocolate chips. Miniature is what I have. And these are my cookies. So, sorry Jacob Gross, but I'm using miniature. Yeah, it's already thickening up. Alright, and then it says drop cookie dough. His, actually, before I go on, his recipe calls for equal parts of chopped walnuts, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and sweetened flaked coconut. 
Well, I am using pecans because that's what I like. And mini chocolate chips and no coconut. And yes, they're called pecans. I grew up where pecans are grown. And that's what they're called. A pecan is a can you pee in. And we're not putting that in our cookies. Alright, so we got to drop cookie dough by tablespoons full onto prepared baking sheet. Now what they mean in this recipe by prepared baking sheet is a butter, it says butter a large baking sheet. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm using a sill pad. I'm going to spray it with this here vegetable oil spray. Because ain't nobody got time to be buttering that thing. Actually, I do have time. I just prefer not to. Alright, so this is the way I always learn to do cookies. That's more than a tablespoon. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Scoop it with your with your spoon and scrape it off with your knife. Scoop it with your spoon. Scrape it off with your knife. My oven is still not heated up. It takes about 20 minutes for my oven to heat all the way up. I am cooking in a propane oven. I don't know why I said that. It's not really any different than any other, uh, other oven actually bakes the same. But anyway, just FYI. I live out in the country. There's no gas lines out here. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. City water just came out here two years ago. Our road just got paved five years ago. Our internet comes through a phone line. Old school, not any kind of fiber optic anything. I have to use a hotspot from my cell phone to upload videos to YouTube. Or it takes a good 12, 18 hours to upload. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Well, maybe I am. Yeah, I am. You would, too. Okay. So, once our oven... I'm going to go ahead and do another sheet pan. Because this says it makes two and a half dozen. I mean, it makes five dozen. So, I'm anticipating at least two dozen. There's a dozen there. I got another sill pat ready to go. So, I'm going to get those all on the cookie sheet. And I'll come back when it's time to... How about when they come out of the oven? There's not a whole lot of satisfaction seeing them go into the oven. I'll bring you back when it's time for them to come out of the oven. And then we'll have a taste. And see how these zucchini chocolate chip cookies turn out. Sure hope they're good. See you in a bit. Alright, here come our cookies. Ta-da! Alright, let's pull them out of there. They ended up taking 30 minutes to bake. But they sure look good. See, they're really pretty and brown. 
still a little too hot to taste. Maybe we'll have to wait till the other ones come out, taste them. No, I'm not going to wait. I can't wait. Alright, let's break it open. Looks like a chocolate chip cookie to me. Sorry, it's quiet. I'm chewing. Mmm. Buttery and delicious. You cannot taste any of that zucchini. They're extremely delicious. buttery and cakey. Lightly sweetened. I really like the way that the pecans toast when they're being baked and the toasty pecans along with the butter is just delicious. I think these could have been thicker. I'm probably going to add more flour the next time I make these. But I will make these again. And I'm happy to have found these because I'm being overrun with squash. And on my next video, I will show you how to put up squash in the freezer for use later in these cookies so that when you get ready to bake these cookies you can just pull your packet of squash out of the freezer and let it thaw and proceed with the recipe. So that'll be on my next video because I'm definitely going to put some squash in the freezer to use later to make these cookies. Do you have any really good squash recipes that I can try? So far I like this one because I can use squash that I put in the freezer so it's not something that I have to make when the squash is still fresh. I can for later the squash and make these any time. One of my favorite ways to have squash is to slice it pretty thickly and then brush it with olive oil and throw some herbs on it and throw it on the grill. The other way I found is to make zucchini boats, which is the same concept as a twice-baked potato. You partially cook the squash in the microwave and then you scoop out and leave about a quarter of an inch of the, of the shell. And then you dice up the, the meat you pulled out, the zucchini meat, and mix it with breadcrumbs and chopped up tomato and some herbs and then you put it back in and then you stick put cheese on it. Actually you put it in the oven for a little bit and then you take it out and put cheese on it and put it back in until the cheese melts. Those are pretty delicious too. But anyway, there's the cookies. They're delicious. Try them. Um, the next video is going to be putting up squash in the freezer to make these cookies. So this will be a two part I guess. I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Love you all.
Bye. Bye.